right, we have our man Brandon. Yes. Thank you. Now, Brandon, I apologize. T please tell us how to say your last name because I hate butchering people's <laughs> names. <laughs> it's. I, I think I'm saying it correctly. Spawn and still. So <laughs> it's been uh, <laughs> a topic of discussion every time it's brought up. Okay, fun and still. Okay, nice, cool, man. Cool. Well, man, we're so excited to have you yes. meet a, a seasoned uh, mobile home investor who is doing excellent work down in AZ, who's been in the industry. Um, so, Brandon, man, like enough, you know, instead of my introduction, I would rather you give us, give the people that, that, that background, man, how you got started, and, and just give us, you know, your experience in mobile home investing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so for those that are watching this, stop everything you're doing and invest in mobile homes. It's the new up and coming thing. These guys know what they're talking about. I'm the real deal. It works. These guys are the real deal. It works. And for those that are really wanting to uh, start a business, invest in, in an avenue that's connected to real estate without all the costs that are going to uh, break the bank, this is the route to go. So my background has always been in financial lending. Um, I used to work for a company that would send me to rich dad education seminars all across the country, and we would help folks gain capital or raise capital to to invest in various real estate products. Um, I saw a lot of success after uh, uh, segueing out of that business and uh, starting my own company and raising capital from private investors. And within the first year, we did two and a half million dollars in capital raise from private investors. Uh, we would then invest the funds into mobile homes over there in uh, Houston, San Antonio, Texas area. Um, Texas is one big giant mobile home community in, in a sense. There's so many homes out there. So we saw a huge amount of success. Um, my background uh, has always been related to, to financial lending, but really wanted to start something out in the, the market that, that I'm currently in. live in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, there are a ton of uh, communities out here. Um, and I've noticed that there just aren't as many options for folks to buy homes on financing. So after diving into, um, uh, you know, uh, buying homes out here in Arizona using investors capital, I, I recognize that there is a huge market that is untapped. And um, it, it's one of those things that kind of spawned overnight. Now we have a team of uh, three, four employees, uh, we have systems in place to have it running, um, ongoing, a, you know, have, have money cash flowing from properties. We have, um, over 25 homes right now, I think that are, uh, currently on seller finance terms. Uh, we do anywhere from, you know, two to three flips a month. We also act as listing agents. Uh, we'll do about two to three of those, uh, listed homes per month. And then one or two seller finance a month. So on average, we're doing anywhere between four and seven home sales a month, and it generates um, uh, it generates revenue that that is sustainable to operate a company. So it's it's been huge. It's been uh, a whirlwind, but um, but it definitely is something that is untapped. And then for those that are watching this video, I'm telling you guys, stop everything you're doing, anything that you've been trying to do out here in, in the real estate world. And uh, in recognizing that there are too many competitors diving into that market, and you're just not getting any sort of steam to, to, to get ahead in the race, this is the way to go. Yeah. Wow, man. Wow. Like, seriously, Brandon, like, I, I, man, like, from all your experience, and even connecting with you, like, when we first started, you know, we, were, we actually were looking at your page, um, and mm -hmm. we're just like, man, yo, this guy, he's yeah, the real he's deal down it, there. Right. He's doing it, eh? <laughs> So then definitely, you know, it's, it's inspiring as well. So um, with, with that, what, what would you say is, are some of the uh, pros and cons to mobile home investing, would you say? Well, well, the, the pros are the returns. Uh, the pros are the, uh, the, the lack of competition. Um, the, the pros are the amount of homes that are actually out there that are, um, uh, you know, any, anything but residential. I mean, there's a ton of them. It's amazing on on how many opportunities there are for people to get into affordable living um, using the mobile home uh, vehicle, if you will, and um, how quickly of a process it is for them. There's such a big um, big win for, for not only us as a company, but for individuals that are looking to get into a home quick, uh, affordable, and, and safe. Um, so that's huge. That's a big pro. The cons, 
the cons as far as running a mobile home business um, that I've noticed is the amount of ugly homes that you can find. Yeah. Uh, but you just have to have the entrepreneur mindset and know that, okay, what you see is, is, is gold after you, you scoop yeah. away the, the dog crap in the, in the, in the, in the home. I've seen one of your guys' videos. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we know all about the dog crap. Oh, man, definitely. So, so Brandon, one key thing, and I love that you brought out to me, which is so important, people, and one thing that truly stands out for is the systems piece. Yeah. Um, and, it's, and, and from, you know, definitely being able to connect with you, you have a, a proven system and like a bona fide system that works. So I, I like you to dig more into that, like, you know, sis, like being systematic in this business. Yeah. So uh, of course, in, in any sort of business, um, leads are coming in. You got customers that want to buy whatever product you're selling. Um, you know, at, at some point uh, down the road or years ago, you know, people had those big lengthy calendars that were on the front of their desk. And they're filling in the dates of when they're supposed to go see that customer with their phone number. And, and you know, they just logged a business card and this giant folder. I mean, just all of this paper, all of these filing cabinets. Um, well, that's, that, was, that was then. And now we're in now, 2019. So you need to have a system in place to um, organize your leads. You got leads, you got traffic that are interested in your product, whatever the product may be, whether it's mobile homes or you're selling, uh, you know, freaking candy, you need to have a, a way to manage those leads that are coming in. So we use uh, our CRM system is Podio. I wouldn't claim that it's the best in the world, but uh, for those that are getting started out and they want an inexpensive route to starting a business, and organizing their leads, that's a huge, uh, uh, easy resource to use. Um, to be able to manage those leads without using all of this, um, all of these, you know, the, those examples that I gave you. The number one thing too, you need to have something in place to be able to continue to communicate with your clients. Because of course you have leads that are contacting you. They want to see your home. Uh, they they want to see what kind of products you have. You need to establish as a credible expert in your market. And in order to re retain that right uh, as the credible mobile home manufactured home expert in your market, you need to be able to stay in contact with these folks. So what happens is when they're contacting you, um, they, they need to get somewhere involved with your, your drip campaign. If you need to have drip campaigns, you need to have email going out to them. You need to have text blasts going out to them. You need to have these cool little systems in place that we all know to have, but we all are scared to develop. And it's so simple. I can show you in, in minutes how, it is, how simple it is just to do some plugging in of these little tools. I am not a programmer. I may have glasses, but I'm really not that much of a nerd. And I'm telling you guys, it, it's simple. You just need to be able to stay in front of these people. You need to be able to constantly send out emails to your leads that are coming in who had originally came to you at some point. And you need to be able to have your team also be able to contact them um, on, on a regular basis. So they're getting hit with text messages. They're getting hit with emails. And also you are picking up your phone and you're calling these individuals. Well, that's a lot of information, a lot of stuff to, to manage, right? You, you're, you're, maybe you're a small business owner. Maybe it's you know, one or two people in your company. Maybe it's a couple like you guys. Um, you need to be able to have something that organizes all of this data, all of these leads. And we've developed that, that tool, that, 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 uh, uh, that, that system, and it flows using our, our Podio account. It flows using our MailChimp. Um, it flows using our SurveyMonkey uh, application uh, uh, that, that, that we use to draw on leads. And then, and then um, I mean, there's, there's so many avenues that, that, uh, uh, that, that could really reduce the amount of cost liability on hiring employees and simply using these softwares to manage the little mundane stuff that you would normally have to hire somebody and, and now you just keep your costs low and your overhead at, at such a lower, uh, lower you know, price, uh, price point. So that, that is a, a lot of information. And if you captured a, a quarter of, of what I said, you're going to go far. I tell you this, find a way to manage your leads. I recommend uh, any sort of CRM system out there that is, built in the what are we in the 21st century use it again podio is something i use i don't know if it's the best in the world but i know it's free and and if you guys want to uh add employees to it and you know you may there may be some 25 dollar a month charge it's you know certainly inexpensive um but it's it's, it's a good avenue to go with managing those leads and then you you just need to stay in contact with these people 
Man, man, awesome, man. You just dropped so many value bombs. Yes. I mean, everybody who's listening, you're talking about, you, you talk, yeah, it's one thing to actually, you know, go and buy and sell a mobile home, okay, mm -hmm. and doing all those things yourself. But everything Brandon is talking about how to, to actually just become more efficient. Like, yeah. when you say yourself, like, when you first started compared to before you actually implemented the system to when you implemented the system, like, what do you see, like, what the difference is? Oh, gosh. Well, you, you, once you start just tapping in, in an untapped world for, for, for your own sake, um, I can't imagine mobile home investing is, is, is uh, 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 unheard of. People do this, but when you start tapping into it yourself, it's unheard of to you, you yourself. You've never tapped into it. You don't know what you're doing, but you're diving into it head first and you're finding out what works, what doesn't work. And all of a sudden you start peeling back the onion and start saying, well, this is an easier way to go about this. I'm no longer going to um, I'm no longer going to send out um, uh, these these manual um, uh, emails that I'm typing up in my my uh, on my computer and I'm sending it out one at a time or I'm or I'm doing all these blind carbon copies like there, there's other there's other little tools that you'll start to want to discover you'll start Google searching things that you never thought that you would ever Google search when you realize. Oh wow! How do I make it easy to communicate with over two thousand people at a time? How do I set something up to where the email doesn't go into the spam folder? What are the proper subject lines that I have to place so that it doesn't come off salesy, so that people open on my email and that people click on my clickable button options to be able to dive deeper into the to the properties that I have? I mean, you find all of this out, and the way I communicate right now, I would never in my life would communicate this a year ago, year and a half ago, two years ago, three years ago, now that I think about it, until I started diving into something that was untapped in my brain capacity. And then I started realizing, wow, how do I make it a little bit easier? How do I do this? How do I, how do I figure this out? And you start to find out a lot of stuff that college doesn't teach you. I'm telling you, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. So, man, definitely, yes, man. Definitely. Like seriously, man, yeah. so much value. And I love it, Brandon, because, um, you know, again, it's one thing for us, you know, showing people how to get home, but it's another right. thing for them to know to how to scale their business. Mm -hmm. And what, you know, what you're, what you have, what you're doing, man, is you're talking about can help so many people. And I can't wait because they, they definitely, we're going to see where they can find you at because man, right. like right there is, again, it's a difference in like a, you know, a mobile home investor doing it themselves and then someone scaling a mobile home business. business right. And you definitely figured that out. Yeah, you know, and, and, and this, I recommend anybody that's creating a business, create, a, create a, a business, don't create a job, right? The idea is we want to be business owners or, or do we want to be job owners? Um, that's, that's where, you know, you, you'll start to realize, okay, well, you know, I'm no longer working this nine to five job, but I'm actually working this 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., 8 p.m. job. Wow, I can say that I'm a business owner, but but in reality, my life is is chaotic. You need to be able to reserve time to do what's more important to you. You know, this is a vehicle for a lifestyle that that I want to live. This is a vehicle for the viewers, for you guys, um, uh, to 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 create the lifestyle that you want. I know that a lifestyle that I want is my wife and I. We we want to we we like to travel. We go out of the country quite often. We we um. We we are um, we're highly involved at our at our church. We're, we like to like to skydive just out of nowhere whenever we want to. We recently went skydiving the other day, and that was terrifying. But the idea behind it is to be able to do what you want to do, but also know that you're financially secured. Yeah, right. definitely. No, that definitely, is awesome. Yeah. I love, love it, it, man. Yeah. So I want to ask you this question too: like, what is what is one of your joys? that you get from giving in this business? Because that's one thing about this business I love, the giving aspect. What, like, what, do you, what do you love about that? Yeah, having people on our team. When I, when I see the, I, I've had two employees that have been with me for a year and a half now, and they've developed so much in, in learning things that they had no idea. They were in, like I was explaining earlier, an untapped world as far as what their, what their uh, perspective was of, of, of certain things on clients, how to communicate, how to sell, how to, how to retain clients and, and um, to be able to see the joy that, that it brings, that this business brings them, and of course, financially supports them, uh, really motivates me because I, I don't ever look at it like, hey, this is my business, you guys work for me. Um, when we communicate in our weekly team meetings, we all say, like, guys, 
you know, the, people even call me out saying, Brandon, I need you to get better at doing this so that it makes this part easier for me. We, we look at it as this is a company owned or uh, an employee owned company, I guess is the word that you hear nowadays. So we really see that as a team effort. Everybody touches the ball once until we finally lay it up in the hoop. And I, I love the idea that our team is motivated and they are um, hungry for success in this business because and then what that does for me is it just gives me pride knowing that, you know, we're bringing value to, to other people, not just those that are buying homes, but, but people on our team that are, are getting the, the, the confidence booster, knowing that their, their good works are going far and they're helping people and, and uh, they're, they're free to, to, to do what's best at any given point because they're not being held down by a ball and chain by the, the big boss man upstairs. And, and, uh, and, you know, that's, that's huge, huge for me. Yeah, I, love it, I love it, man, because, but I love it more. So with us being millennials, man, we're changing that that yeah, concept yeah. of, like you said, not just have the, the big boss upstairs. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, it's, it's so much better, man. So um, one thing I want to ask you, so, you know, what you've been in this business and, and, and the, what you've been able to develop, what services do you offer? Because we definitely, this is a, guys, this is, this is an expert on what he does and yeah. we want people to be able to find you and utilize those services. Yeah, yeah. So I do offer mentorships. Uh, I help. I help uh, you know, people such as you guys that are looking to build out their business. Um, one thing that I really focus on is, um, like I said, like we all know, mobile homes, manufactured homes. Um, and my services are to help you build out your system so that you have a business running on its own while you're sleeping. The idea is to know that when you wake up come at 9, 9 a.m. on a Thursday morning tomorrow, that you have leads already in your database, that they're ready to be contacted. So we help design that system for you so that you know, great, today I have these tasks to complete. These are the people I need to contact. I also need to follow up with yesterday's contact. So we set that up for you and we help you learn that system and, and, and understand the jargon that I'm spitting out right now and, uh, and be able to communicate that to, to those on your team. So th th this is something that we've uh, really focused on. Um, we, we built out a system for a, 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 a guy of mine that I mentor out in Florida. Um, within a day, he had like 20 leads. Uh, he's closing on his first deal uh, Friday. Um, so uh, again, guys, whoever, you know, whoever's listening to this video, grasp on tightly to these words. These guys right here that you guys are looking at, they are telling you truth. This is real stuff. This is huge. And if you are considering investing in real estate, you don't, and you don't have any hard lenders, you don't know how to access capital. You're brand new. You, you're starting off so fresh. You have a couple of bucks in, in your savings account. Mobile homes are the way to go. If mobile homes are not your end game and, and maybe you have aspirations of, of being in commercial real estate, start from the bottom. Understand the playing field. Jerry Jones, owner of the Cowboys, guess where he started at? Mobile homes. Wow. Guys, take this serious. <laughs> wow, wow man. And listen, I just learned that from you, man. You know, my guys were Sam Zell, Warren Buffett, but now it's like, wow, Jerry Jones? Like, oh, man, yeah. <laughs> that is amazing. So, man, so where can they find you? Um, you, know, uh, you know, social media, where, where is a great place to find you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, we'll leave a, because we talked at the beginning of the video how unique my last name is. Of course, you can follow my personal page. I'm very active on there. But if you want to visit our, our business page, Mobile Home Guys, uh, with a Z as in zebra. We're out in Phoenix, Arizona. Mobile Home Guys, Z like Zachary, Zorro, Zebra, whatever. Um, you'll get us confused with another company uh, with the, the appropriate spelling, but we like to keep things a little bit jazzy and a little bit fun and a little that 90s flair. So look us up. Uh, feel free to visit our website, mobilehomeguys.com with a Z. Um, and um, Instagram, Facebook, wherever. Um, feel free to personal message me. Um, if you need to email, info at mobilehomeguys.com. And uh, feel free to tap into, in, into this world by, by going through these guys. Um, I'm telling you, they, they know what they're talking about. Um, and we just want to back and support what they're doing. Um, anything that they offer to you, take it serious. And at some point or another, we want to be able to, I want to be able to, 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 to speak with you guys too, because I know that putting these, these two things together, you know, they teaching you the fundamental behind fundamentals behind mobile homes and, and why you need to invest the history of mobile homes. And then we start developing the systems to get things operating. So you have a business working uh, and, and instead of you working for your business, um, you know, that's, that's where I come in.
Man, oh, that is huge. Oh. That's awesome. And that's what, you know, we definitely love is, is, is something, again, with us teaching the basics, and now you're there to take them to the next level. And so that's what we're so excited even, you know, to, to even get you on, the, you know, to, talking to the audience. But, man, yeah. let people see, you know, other than us, that it's, yeah, it's, it's, other, yeah, it's other people there. out here, man. And you see Brandon's been getting it, man. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> we're excited. We're so excited, man. We thank you for even – you know, coming on, you know, on our platform, we're excited to to share, um, man, your knowledge. And, man, we're definitely looking forward to having you back on. Um, yeah, you know, we got to check back in with you in a few months and make sure, you know, everything is, is rolling awesome. And I know you're going to come back with some more amazing stuff for us, blow our minds. Right. <laughs> so, man, that is awesome, man. So, hey, um, you know, again, we want to thank Brandon for coming aboard. Yes, thank you um, so much. Brandon. Yes, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, um, you know, and, and catch most of the videos. You guys know where to find us. We'll leave all that good stuff up. But, hey, this has been a great one. Brandon, thank you. Thank you so much. And, again, hey, I wish thank we could you. weather. You and we yes. see you outside. We're cooped right, up in the house in Chicago. <laughs> short, sli short sleeves. Uh, <laughs> hey, I so love jealous. it, man. I so, love so it. Jealous. I love it, Brandon. But, hey. Everybody will have you have a great one and we'll we'll definitely we'll we'll talk we'll talk to Brandon soon. Thanks guys.